Hi, we're gonna be working on the math strategy called compensation. Um, it's something that we've been doing in class and a little extra practice is definitely gonna help. Um, the first problem we're gonna start with is 56 plus 25. Um, when I'm doing compensation, I try to think of what's the partner pair that will help me get to the next 10 so I can make this a much easier problem. Um, so knowing your fact families for 10 is something that should be memorized at this point. Um, but I could do this in two different ways. So I'm gonna show if I added um, plus four on this side. So 56 plus four is 60. I put four over here. So on this side, I'm going to subtract four. Um, 25 minus four is 21. If I add 60 plus 21, it equals up to be 81. So 56 plus 25 is 81. Um, compensation only works for regrouping problems. And so if you had a problem such as 22 plus 35, you can't use compensation for that because two plus five is a number that's gonna be less than 10. So two plus five is seven, there's no regrouping. But if it was instead of two plus five, if it was two plus, I'm sorry, nine plus five, um, that would regroup the ones place. And so you would be able to use compensation on a problem such as this. Um, when I'm doing compensation, I try to look at the ones place. Um, nine is much closer to 10. Nine partner pairs with one to get me to the next 10. So I'm going to add one on this side and I will subtract one from the other side. 29 plus one is 30 and five minus that one is four and bring down my three. My new equation is 30 plus 34, which has a sum of 64. So the sum of 29 plus 35 is also 64. Um, I'm going to rewrite the 29 over here. Um, if you wanted to do it another way, maybe you wanted to add plus five over here, and then you would subtract five on this side. So a minute ago I did plus one and minus one because I brought the 29 up to the next 10, which was 30. Um, but now I'm gonna bring this up to the next 10 and see if I get the same answer. Um, 35 plus five is 40. Nine minus five is four. Bring that two down. 24 plus 40, I'm just adding four to my tens place. So again, two tens plus four tens is six tens, and I did get the same sum of 64. So I know that my answer is correct. Um, the thing that kind of throw kids off seems to be if they're both the same number um, in the ones place. And so there's a seven in this ones place, and there's also a seven in this ones place. Um, I know that three partners with seven to get to the next 10. Um, for this, you could choose, do you wanna add three to this number or do you wanna add three to this number? You can't add three to both numbers. So I'm gonna just do the second add in. I'm gonna add three over here, which means I have to subtract three on this side. 27 plus three, the reason I did that is I wanted to get to the next 10, which is 30. Um, 57 minus three is 54. Um, 54 plus 30, remember I'm keeping my ones the same and I'm doing five plus eight tens, which I'm sorry, five tens plus three tens, which is eight in my tens place. So 84 is the sum. Um, again, I could have done the same thing. You could have chosen which one you wanted to do the plus three to, because they both have the same number in the ones place. So again, 57 plus three is 60. Seven minus three is four. Bring that two down. 60 plus 24, zero and four is four. Six tens plus two tens is eight in my tens place, which was the same sum that I got before. Um, 64 plus 36, here's another one. 
Um, I'm gonna look at my ones place. I've got a four and I have a six. I'm trying to get to the next 10. Um, six needs four and it's much closer. Um, four also needs six. Hmm. So I'm gonna do plus four over here and I'm gonna subtract four. Remember, the number needs to be the same on both sides and I wanna pick a number that's gonna make sense. Um, we'll do a, a non-example in a minute. Um, 36 plus four gets me to the next 10, which is 40. Bring that plus sign down. Um, four minus four is zero and bring that six. So 60 plus 40 gives me an even 100 for the sum. Um, I am gonna show you just like a non-example and why I wouldn't wanna do it. Cause sometimes people um, might not be sure, why did I pick that number? How did that really make it easier? So like, let's just say I love the number two and I wanted to do plus two and minus two. Um, 64 plus two is 66. And then um, 36 minus two is 34. 66 plus 34 doesn't make it a super easy problem to solve. Um, it's not difficult. There is just regrouping with the tens, I'm sorry, the ones place. Four plus six does equal up to be 10. Um, and so you can't just easily add it with a lot of mental math. Yes, is it possible? Yes. Um, but the whole point of compensation is to try to get your brain thinking and trying to um, do a lot more mental math. Ooh, I'm not gonna, let's do, let's just do 13. Um, so 79 plus 13, I know I can use compensation because if I added the nine and the three, it's gonna be a number that's more than 10. Um, it is a regrouping problem. Um, nine is really close to getting 79 to the next 10, so I'm gonna do plus one and minus one. 79 plus one more is 80. 13, take one away is 12. Um, again, we're starting with the ones place. Zero plus two is two, and then eight tens plus one ten is nine in my tens place. So the sum is 92. Um, for this one, I'm gonna show two ways to do the same equation. Um, if the equation was 28 plus 54. So 28 plus 54, and on the other side, I'm gonna just write 28 plus 54. Um, looking at the ones place, I know that this is going to be a regrouping problem, and so I could use compensation. Um, eight partner pairs with two, so I'm gonna do eight plus two over here, and I'm gonna do that minus two over here. Um, well, I guess 28 plus two as a sum of 30. 4 minus 2 is 2, bring that 5 down. My new equation, 30 plus 52, which has a sum of 82. Um, for my other equation, I'm going to try to get 54 to the next 10. So I'm going to partner that 4 with a 6. So I'll do plus 6 and minus 6. Remember, knowing your fact families is going to really help you. Um, four partners with six to get to the next 10. And we're trying to get to the next 10 to make an easy equation to solve. Um, eight minus that six is a two. So we've got 22 plus 60, which also gives us the sum of 82. So some of your equations um, for your test and also your quiz are going to say, show it in two different ways. Um, here are two different ways. They both are giving you the same answer, um, the same sum and that's how you do compensation.